This video explains how to use the schematic check block consistency tool. The check block consistency tool is used to make sure that the block call and the interfaces are correct. It is a great tool for updating the function block and data block calls and user data types UDT calls. To begin, right click on the blocks folder. Select check block consistency. There is a red X on the DV18 and a yellow exclamation on FB18. The problem resides in OB1. The FB18 and DB18 call has been made in the OB1 and there is also yellow exclamation point next to FC4. Click the dependency structure icon to see only the blocks that have interface problems. To see the meaning of the icons, press F1 for help. Click buttons in the tree view. The red X indicates that the object must be recompiled. And the yellow exclamation points indicates the timestamp conflict which generally means that there is an interface problem such as added local variables to the block where the call to the block is not updated. Close the help screen. Let's go back to the tree reference view. We will now compile all the blocks and see if it fixes all the interfaces. Click the compile all button. A compiler runs. The compiler indicates there is an error. OB1 could not be compiled and it still contains the timestamp conflict. The red X is gone next to DB18 but there are still yellow exclamation points next to DB18, FC4 and FB18, all being called from OB1. Close the checkbox consistency window. Let's open OB1. The programming editor tells there is a timestamp conflict with at least one block call. Click OK. Scroll down the block to find that the FC4 block is red. The pop-up node tells us that the interfaces were changed. Right click the block. Choose Update Block Call. This option only shows when there is an interface conflict of the block. The editor shows the old block on the left side and the new block on the right side which, con which contains a new variable called PV. Click OK to accept the new block. The compiler opens this block but could not fix it because a formal parameter has to be supplied. And only the user can do that. The formal parameter should be an integer so we will enter the integer value 55. Save the block. No other conflict shows, so let's close the window. Right click the blocks folder again and choose check block consistency. No conflicts are showing. When OB1 was opened, the FB18 and DB18 interfaces was automatically updated and we fix the call to FC4. The check block consistency tool can generally fix the interfaces issues with FBs, DBs and UDTs but it cannot fix the interface issues with FCs. We have to do that. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.